next few videos, we'll learn how to use Excel's great library of text functions to manipulate text. So let's think about how data comes into Excel. Data can come into Excel from another spreadsheet. It can come in from the wet internet. Or it can come in from a database or even a text file or a word file. And sometimes from PDFs, and there are conversion programs to convert tables and PDFs to Excel. But often the data does not come into Excel the way you want it to look. And the purpose of text functions is to enable you to change the way data looks from the way it looks now to the way you want it to look. So let's start out with a file Lenora attempt, and then we'll have a bunch of videos showing how text functions work. So Lenora is one of my students. She worked for NCR. So a long time ago, we had this information. Information. We had in, let's say, thousands of rows, a product ID, which was the first 12 characters, a product description, like desktop unit, which was then listed, and then we had a price, and the price was always six characters. Now, what to do if the price wasn't always six characters, we'll deal with that later. And then there were two blank spaces. So if you look at this cell and hit F2 to show, you can see those two blank spaces. Followed by two blank spaces. Okay. So Lenora's problem was to analyze what was the average price charge for each product. And this will require something that we'll talk about later, average if or pivot table. Okay? Or database statistical function. Any of those tools would work. But the thing I'm sure you know about Excel is you can't do math on stuff that's in a single cell. So you've got to be able to split stuff up into different columns. Okay? And so Excel text functions are made for that purpose. Now, the first thing you should probably do is get rid of extra spaces in a cell. Okay, remember we said there were two spaces at the end of each row here. Okay, now the function to get rid of extra spaces is called the trim function. Okay, so the trim function will take away any spaces at the beginning or end of the cell or any ex and any ex extra spaces between words. So if I would say trim this cell, okay, it looks the same, but it's not. I'll show you. So I could double click and copy that down. Now there's another function, len, tells you how many characters, including spaces in a cell, and actually invisible characters, which we we'll may talk about later. So len of a4 is 52. There are 52 characters in a4. When I trim it, there's only 50 because it took away the two spaces at the end. So honestly, I'm not going to work with column A anymore. I'm going to work with column B and try and split this stuff up. So how would I get the product ID? The product ID, I said, was always the left hand most 12 characters. What if it wasn't always the left hand most 12, sometimes 10 characters or 13 characters, wait till the next video. But there's a left function that'll pull stuff from the left. So if I would say left B4 comma 12, and that's how many characters you want. That says to Excel, hey, go to cell B4 and pull the left hand most 12 characters. And now I've got the product ID. And I can copy that down. Okay, now how about getting the price? Well, if there's a left function and there's any justice in the world, in a lot of places in the world there is no justice or inadequate justice, but in Excel there is justice. So there is a right function. So now that I trimmed away those last two blank spaces, the price is always the right hand most six characters. What if it wasn't always a price six characters? What if sometimes it was seven or eight characters? That's a tricky problem. We will deal with that in a later video, but it's not as easy as you might think. But there's a write function. So I could say write B4, comma six. And there we go. It looks like we're done, but we're not. Suppose I add up this column. You may have noticed when, or may know from a previous Excel experience, when numbers are on, when stuff's on the left, it's not a number. See, if I try and add up this column, which I probably would want to do or average it, I'm going to get zero. Okay, and that just is because Excel thinks this is text. So a lot of times Excel thinks something is text when it should be a number. Well, there's a function for that. There's the value function. If I hit F2 and edit this, I can put the word value here. And then I can just drag that down and see now it's a number because these are working out. Okay, now the fun part, the product description, like mini tower, mini tower, N-O, N-O-S, whatever. 
So we've got, so far we've learned about the LEN function, how many characters in a cell. We learned about the left function, pulls characters from the left. And then the right function pulls characters from right. And now we want to pull stuff from the middle. In other words, we want to pull desktop or a Windows NTOS or whatever. We need a function called the mid function. That pulls characters from the middle of the cell. Okay. So what should be the three arguments of the mid function? Let's think about that. You have to know what cell you want to pull from. You have to know where do you want to start in that cell and how many characters. Well, let's so we want to pull from column B to get the product description. And we'll start at the 13th character. Or, okay, we'll get a space in the front. I'm not going to worry about that. We could trim it out. And then how many characters do we need? See, every cell is different. But the key to Excel is a phrase from Shakespeare. There's a method to his madness. You know where that comes from? And the answer is Hamlet. So the key to its uh, method to is madness, sorry. So the key to Excel is basically, can you find a pattern in your spreadsheet? If you can, you can use Excel functions to exploit that pattern and do what needs to be done. So even though in every row, the product ID is a different number of characters, there is a pattern. The product ID is the length of the, what's the length of the product ID uh, description in each row, sorry. It's the whole length of the cell minus the beginning minus the end. The beginning is 12 and the end is 6. So I can use the following formula. I can do mid function and notice the first argument is the cell. The next argument is where to start. We'll start at 13. Now the key is how many characters. Take the whole length of that cell minus the beginning which is 12 and the end which is 6. And that will give me the product description. And if I just copy that down, I am done with the product description. Okay. Now. How can I bring stuff together? Sometimes, and you'll see throughout the course, throughout our videos, this will pop up a lot, combining or concatenating stuff. In other words, I've got, suppose I have the product ID in column C, the price in column D, and the product description in column E. I want to put it together in one cell with, of course, putting a dollar sign before the price. That's called concatenation. And there are two ways to do this. There's a concatenate function, but I'll just use the and sign. I think it's easier. Combine stuff in a single cell. So if you just put the and sign to whatever, basically you can string stuff together, including spaces with a quote, space, quote, and any other text with a quote. So 2, 4, 6, 8, how do we concatenate? Well, what we do is we start with the product ID. We put an and sign, which is over the 7, the ampersand. We'll put a space. That's a space. Then we'll put a product description. And then I need a dollar sign. So I'll put quote, dollar sign, quote. And we guess we need a price. So I could copy down this, copy this formula down a million rows if I wanted to, and combine stuff from three different columns in a million rows, which is really cool. So I've got product ID, I've got a space, product description a dollar sign, and then a price. And that's just what I want. So just drag it down. So we've learned about a lot, we, sorry, we've learned a lot about text functions in this video, but we've got a lot more to learn, so we're gonna have several more videos on text function tricks. And I can, <coughs> I can tell you from my experience teaching it, <coughs> sorry, my experience teaching at Indiana University <coughs> and the University of Houston that People who don't know a lot about Excel, the problems that they face that they really can't solve involve text functions almost more than anything else, particularly uh, secretaries or administrative personnel who have to deal with that and do lots of things manually. <coughs> okay, sorry, we'll see you in the next video.
Okay, so thanks for watching, and, and there's a free course, a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, and all of these videos are coming from one of three books. So first, this one, which you can see here at the top of the screen, um, Microsoft's book, which has 355 reviews, uh, and then it's, let's see, 4.6 stars. Um, it's coming from this book as well, his marketing analytics book, which is down here, and you can sort of see 4.5, or his newest book, his analytics stories book, which is here. And with that one, you can see it's four point something, or maybe even five. I don't think it's five. Yeah, 4.8. And so, yeah, anyways, in the description, there's a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, or you can go to excelwithwayne.com slash free, and it'll be there. But again, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, just uh, please let us know. Thanks.